I thank President Amina Kori Fakim for her statement. Now I call upon uh, His Excellency Mr. Henry Van Tio, Vice President of the Republic of Union of Myanmar, to deliver his speech. Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor for me to deliver a keynote speech at this important meeting of the Third Union Special Thematic Session on Water and Disasters. Organizing this session under the theme of adaptation or climate change, boosting financing and investment, and advancing science and technology is timely, and it reflects the current trends of global phenomenon relating to water and disasters. We'll have to continue global dialogue to contribute effectively addressing the issue of water and disasters. Water is essential for all living beings on Earth. It is, in fact, not just essential to quench thirst, but is also vital for good health and sanitation, sporting economic, social, and human development. Due to natural conditions such as climate and geographical variations, as well as human inputs, over 90% of disasters are related to water. There are more than 660 million people living without a safe water supply close to home, spending countless hours queuing or trekking to distant sources and coping with the health impacts of using contaminated waters. Indeed, water and disaster are interrelated and often transboundary in nature. Accordingly, the issue of water and disaster is one of the topmost international, regional, and national genders in recent decades. International community have affirmed their commitments through the Sendai Framework and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goal 6 of SDGs, which ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all, emphasizing that no one is left behind in access to water and sanitation. To complement this purpose effectively, we must redouble our efforts to raise awareness and mobilize support at the United Nations regional and national forums. Myanmar has been playing an active role in regional and international arenas, not only for water-related development, but also for water-related disaster management. Excellencies and distinguished participants, many countries in the world face many challenges to cope with increased efforts to, of natural disasters. Myanmar is no exception. Myanmar is suffering from many water-related disasters such as storm and floods in almost every two or three years in regular pattern. The most devastating disaster in recent history of Myanmar was Cyclone Narkis in 2008. In claim, more than 140,000 lives affected 2.4 million populations and caused economics lost about 4.5 billion US dollars. We are also faced with the flash floods and landslides in several states and regions across the country in 2015. Taking this opportunity, I would like to express our heartfelt thanks to international community for their support and assistance renders to the affected people in time of need. Being the chairman of National Water Resources Committee 
and National Disaster Management Committee of Myanmar, I consider the issue of water and disasters being close to my heart. Chairing these two national committees is a, indeed a good avenue for me to coordinate in ensuring policy, coherence and integrated strategic measures for water resources management and disaster management. I am pleased to announce that the government of Myanmar is going to host the third Asia Pacific Water Summit from 11 to 12 December in this year in collaboration with Pacific Asia Pacific Water Firm. The outcome of the summit will be put forward to the 8th World Water Forum to be held in Brazil early next year. Myanmar attaches great importance to the 2030 Global Agenda for Sustainable Development and other international agreed agendas. In doing so, Myanmar has developed respective national action plans which are integrated with global priorities and frameworks. We fully endorsed the UN Resolution on International Decade for Action, Water for Sustainable Development, 2018 to 2028, which recommends further steps towards the achieve of sustainable development and integrated water resource management. Myanmar enacted its disaster management law in 2013 and is pursuing national action plan for disaster risk reductions as well as climate change strategy and action plans to ensure the systematic implementation of this disaster preparedness, prevention, response and recovery. The finance national disaster management programs, Myanmar has established the President Contingency Fund and the National Disaster Management Fund with its own financial resource, but the latter also received cash assistance from international and domestic donors. Myanmar has also joined the World Bank's Southeast Asia Disaster Risk Management Project for financing resilience and disaster risk insurance. Disaster awareness and Capacity building trainings are also being conducted for governmental and non-governmental institutions in the field of digital management, but still on a low scale. In collaboration of the World Bank, the Netherlands and Australia, the government of Myanmar has launched a water resources panel to find development and resource partners, as well as financial and technical assistance, and to enhance its networking relationship in water sector and capacity building. The National Water Resources Committee is drafting water law in compliance with its national policy for future water management. Recently, integrated flood initiative country platform was created to enhance coordination and cooperation between the two national committees. Excellencies and distinguished participants, it is imperative for all states, regardless of weak or strong, to do their best in addressing ongoing trends of climate and environmental changes. We must proceed beyond emergency response. We should also enhance our momentum on awareness, risk, preparedness, prevention, and mitigation, particularly of the con those countries and societies that are most in need. Financing resilience infrastructure, advancing capacity building of local communities, and investing more in preventive measures and in science and technology of water-related institutions are a must for our better future. 
Last but not least, I would like to state that Myanmar will focus on people, planet, prosperity, peace, and partnership towards an inclusive and robust development path to achieve 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. I believe our deliberation today will produce meaningful outcomes to fulfill internationally agreed agenda in the years to come. Thank you.